Hi there. Ah, how are you? <laughs> yes. Um, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Oluwatoyin, from a citizen of Nigeria, and uh, I'm from Ekiti State. Um, why am I here? Just kind of feeding the cows. So I'm here today to let just uh, share a little bit about what I know about farming. I know lately there has been a lot of uh, things going on in Nigeria about cows rearing and getting to different people's farm, eating crops. For me, a lot of friends have approached me to talk about this because they know um, I'm a mechanized dairy farmer. I deal with cows, I farm, you know, there are different types of farming. So I basically focus on far cows. So I'm from Adwekiti, is born there. Went to school there, graduated from Christ School at went to university, then I traveled abroad. Coming to Canada 15 years ago, I just want to give you a little bit about, my, about, about myself. I just went into farming. What kind of farming? Dairy farming, cow farm, any kind of farming, based on cattle, goats, and sheep four-legged farmer so coming here I saw that a lot of things are done differently compared to when I was a child I always see our goats and chiefs all roaming around the street but here there's more productivity there's more efficiency and the way it is done the, these things are done are very very reasonable and makes a lot of sense so when the issue about Nigeria uh, cattle rearers grazing around different states and all that happened. I said, you know what? My friend says, you know, you gotta share your idea. Maybe some people will learn something from it. Or maybe our Nigerian government will learn something from it too. When you look at behind me, you see there are cows, they are eating. And as you see they are, what they are eating, it's grass. See, this grass is a common grass that we have everywhere in Nigeria. I'll show you. This is a common grass that we find everywhere in Nigeria. This grass, it's so simple and it grows everywhere. It's currently, you can find it back home right now. All this. A little amount of maybe just a weed. Got a man cut down, which we cut and we just burn away. You see, it's brown, right? Tell you about one leaf. This one is back home now. We, 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 we just light it in fire and we burn it. But when you look here, it's food for these cows. And there's no there's nothing you don't preserve. There's nothing to do about this. You don't preserve it. It's just normal grass you find everywhere. If I pan the camera to that angle there. I'll point to you. When you see green and white no, colors of things, and you see the bag that I was holding the other time, those are the things that the grass were rolled in. When those are rolled in, they become like a silage like this. They die. They stay in that bags. We call them run bales. 
and there are some other bills too that we call square which is very simple the same thing you put in the square bill which we don't normally some of them they are big big square bills we roll them and wrap them in the bag so that to keep the moisture in and keep all the nutrients in this grass to keep them in because all this grass they have a lot of nutrients which are good for the cattle and when you look at these guys you see different different types which is sim simply the same type of cows what we have back home so these are beef cows we have dairy cows but basically we'll be talking today we'll be talking about uh, the beef cows when you see them all the way to there i'm just gonna use this fork to give them more grass so as you see me now i'm just shoveling in for the cows see they need to eat that they love it and that's all they eat and that's how that's how they keep they keep it all run it's just that simple and what i will tell you about this grass is this can last them two days three days yeah two three days and it can be here or it can be here for a whole week when you see all the way there you see them all the way there they are all eating and you see the moment i put this close see they are all rushing there they want to eat and i'll tell you one thing there's nothing to this grass it's just a normal grass see it's amazing how those things work and you will see some of those demarcations you see here the metals it's just this is for them to be to not to get out but they still have chance to be able to eat the grass and you know we build this this is a normal thing that can be built is simple it's just metal and a hook and a slider so another thing that those things can be used for in case these guys are grown and one thing i want to know, let you notice is that you will see some of them have a horn and some of them doesn't have horns see here see that guy with the horn you see this guy with no horn with the horn them when they are little i see that say that one doesn't have a horn that one with the horn the one with the horn what we do is they use it for roping it's for another type of uh, business they use that for it's for roping the people that ride cow bulls they use that to rope and that's what i will tell you about that but those ones if they are female let me go back to why we use this see this why we use it all that is because when we want to breed them we can breed them easily because when we put this down it will lock them in and we can do artificial breeding for them so all those things are very simple things and uh, i'll show you more as we go okay when you look at me here you see i'm inside where they live here okay and when you look at inside here you see this is where they lay down and you see they put their head that way all these things we call the pen so this is inside here this is where they lay all year that one is sitting, it's laying down there and it's fine nothing wrong with it you will see them they're not it's not that they are running away from me as you see them they're just walking there to come and to go and hit the feet you see in Kakalo, Yemi, when I came to Canada, I didn't realize it when they said Igbelowa. This is how I know Igbelowa. When you put the camera down, you see that camera as you look down here. You see, these are manuals. These are their manuals. And I will show you. This is cow shit. See, I'm holding it. It's cow shit. Igbelowa. And these are money. You see everything that you see here. You see them? the manual all over here all over everywhere that is shit here it's all what is being used to create manual natural manual organic i will show you the tractors that we use to move all these things out whenever it's needed and then where we move it to as we go in this series 
this is gonna be a lot of a lot of different series that we're gonna be doing time to time and I will be I will be sharing with you more how uh, how, how the how this thing works I don't want to scare the cows and you see them they're trying to run a little bit but I don't want to scare them I just want them to feel comfortable one thing I want you to understand is that when you, are, when you are around cows, you don't chase them, you don't scream, you don't shout. This is quite new to them, but with time, they'll get used to it. So as I'm showing you, I'll show you something. See here, these are all sawdust, sawdust that we can find everywhere. And that is what we use for their bedding, to bed that place down. See here now, see when I pull the one that's already in the front here, I'll just do it like that. I didn't have my shovel here. I can kick away the manors. The manors are all here. I can use my foot to kick them out. So those manors, when they get here, like I told you, they just we we bring the tractor. I'll show you the tractor. How we take all this thing, we lock them up, and then we scrape all this to the pit. So I'm a proud farmer. I love it. Like I said, Mode Canada can to realize the quick below. And this, what we call shit, is manual. Farm, dairy farming, cow farm, like beef farming, is money. And I'll tell you what, in Yoruba land, in any, any southwest, southeast, whatever in Nigeria, there's no reason we can't farm, we can't do farms like this. If our government is very serious, Everybody can farm this. It's so simple. And everything that they eat grows from around here, within 10 acres, around them. And it sustains them. Those cattle, those little, little, we call them, these are just heifers and bulls. Heifers are the teenager of cows. As you see them, these are just within six months. And before you realize, within a year, they will be ready if, you, if some people buy it like this, they buy it like they call it veal, veal meat. But by, within a year, they will be twice this size. So, I hope you all understand. See, simple things, open area. They are not like closed up. It's rainy right now. And when they finish eating, they come back in here. Let's go. So next time, when we come back, I will tell you, I will show you how these are made here. Even though we have three months in a year to four months to make the grass because we don't, all our year round is cold, nothing grows much. So, to show you next time, just tune in. This will be serious. I will be here, we'll be sharing with you. And if you wanna know more about me, you can contact me on Facebook, TK Ajayi. You can email me, you can just private message me. My email is tonyirawo at gmail.com. Tonyirawo, irawo with double at gmail.com. Easily to contact me from Facebook. I will put my information in the bottom. We'll talk about how we grow it from the field and how it gets here, the simple way out to raise it. We'll see you next time. Tune in. Thank you. Tobacco, 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 Tobacco,